Grade 6 math number 11.3, congruent polygons are equal polygons. Remember from 4th and 5th grade, a polygon is a closed plane figure formed by line segments that meet only at their endpoints, and each point where the two line segments meet is called a vertex. Do you remember that? I know it was last year, but I hope you remember. Polygons are classified by the number of their sides, angles, and vertices. That's plural for vertex. See? Triangle has three sides, three angles, three vertices. Square has four, four, and four. Pentagon is five, five, and five. Hexagon, six sides, six angles, six vertices. Heptagon, that's seven. Octagon, that's eight. Nonagon, that means there's nine sides, nine angles, nine vertices, and decagon, has 10 of each. So here's a side and here's the vertices right here, each corner. Square has four vertices. See? Each of these corners are vertices. It's got four angles and it's got four sides. One, two, three, four. A pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five angles. One, two, three, four, and five. And five vertices. One, two, three, four, five. See? So each one of these has just as many sides, angles, and vertices. Regular polygons have congruent sides and angles. A regular pentagon has five equal sides and angles. A regular square has five e four equal sides and angles, and a regular triangle has four equal sides and angles. See? A non-regular polygon has different sides and angles, so they're kind of strange looking like this. Sort of like I drew the nonagon and the decagon. These are not regular polygons. Where these are, or they're supposed to be anyway, my drawing may not be perfect, but these have don't have, they don't have a line of symmetry, do they? No. Okay. So corresponding sides are sides that are in the same position in different figures. So see these little lines? These little lines correspond to the lines in this triangle, and the little curves in the angles correspond to the curves in the angles in this one. And they're little tick marks. So that means this one little mark here is congruent for this side here. That means these two sides are congruent. And the two little lines means it's congruent to the one with two little lines, and the three tick marks is congruent to the three tick marks. The one curved angle is congruent to the one curved angle, and the two curves in this one means these are congruent with the two curves. See? So corresponding angles are angles in the same position in different figures. So these are corresponding angles, A and X. See that? So two polygons are congruent when all pairs of corresponding sides are congruent and all pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. So all the sides and all the angles have to be congruent. Not just the sides, not just the angles. It's got to be sides and angles, okay? When you see an equal sign with a wave on top of it, this curvy line, that means congruent. Okay, that's the, sign, the symbol for congruent. Remember from the last video, an M with this angle means measure of an angle. And if you just see this, it means angle. Now don't confuse it with a less than, greater than sign, because the less than, greater than sign kind of floats in the air like that, where the angle one is flat on the bottom like that. See, it lays flat on the line, okay? And then a little triangle means triangle. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, so corresponding sides. Look at these two triangles. We have triangle ABC and XYZ. Line BA, remember that's from last year, that's how you write it. You write BA right here, or AB, it doesn't matter. And you put a line over the top of it, and that means line AB. It corresponds to YX right here, see? They both have the one tick mark. And BA is congruent to YX. These two are congruent, okay? AC... This is the hypotenuse of the triangle, isn't it? It's congruent to XZ. These two are congruent. See? And BC and YZ are congruent 
they correspond to each other. See that? All right, now for the corresponding angles. A and X correspond to each other, B and Y correspond to each other, and C and Z correspond to each other, so they're congruent, okay? So all the pairs of corresponding sides are congruent and the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. All the sides and all the angles are congruent, so these two triangles are congruent, all right? Just remember the little triangle indicates that they're triangles, okay? Now, just because their sides are three inches doesn't mean they're congruent, see? That's got a three inch side. They don't have congruent angles, do they? This has 90 degree square angles, and this one doesn't, does it? It's leaning off to the side, see that? So just because the sides are the same length doesn't mean they're congruent, does it? One's a square and one's a rhombus, isn't it? Yeah, they both have four sides. They both have four angles, but they're not congruent. All right? So that's congruent polygons that are equal polygons, okay? So now you know how to tell if they're equal or congruent, right? No big deal. You can do this, right? All right. We'll keep moving forward, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.